We head into Derby. Many tourists will stay in short term rental homes or apartments used just for a few days. Sites like Airbnb and Verbo have exploded in popularity in recent years, but now some Metro Council members are pushing for a pause. Well, Metro's Planning and Zoning Committee is looking over a temporary moratorium on new rental registrations in some neighborhoods. Grace McKenna and photojournalist Jessica Farley have the story from today's committee meeting. Council members spent much of today's meeting discussing what areas would be impacted by a potential moratorium. Some saying they wanted neighborhoods in their own districts added into the ordinance. This map shows short term rentals registered in Louisville, hundreds in total and dozens alone in neighborhoods like Phoenix Hill and Butchertown. In the Phoenix Hill neighborhood with 25 single homes and eight of those, eight of those 25 homes are short term rentals. Councilman Jacory Arthur is pushing for a temporary moratorium on new short term rental registrations for several Louisville neighborhoods. At the very least in that community, they want to have neighbors, but that's hard to have when your neighbors are gone. Two thirds of these rentals are not host occupied. Tuesday, many on council voiced their support and wanted to add their own neighborhoods to the list. We're having a high concentration of short term rentals and so uh, we want people to, we still want a sense of community. Uh, I think there's a balance in everything. In a letter, neighbors said short term rentals, many of which aren't occupied by hosts, are disrupting a sense of community and driving up housing prices. The letter also pushes for further changes to short term rental policy. It is clear among my constituents that in our neighborhoods, we would like the ability to say, please no more until we figure this out. The moratorium would only be for new applicants, while city planners consider further changes to the rules for short term rentals. Commission leaders discussed some of their ideas Tuesday. We're trying to make some improvements to this so it works for everybody. Planning office leaders said a draft of those ideas could be ready as early as next week. Ultimately, the committee voted to table the ordinance so it won't be heard again until the next planning and zoning committee meeting in Louisville. Grace McKenna, WHAS 11 on your side. And the next uh, planning and zoning committee meeting is scheduled for May 23rd.